Okay, here we go. Hey, we weren't sure if we were on or not. What was that testing? Testing. One, two, three. All right, uh, we're going to get into this real quickly and uh, announce this program we have. We're going to have music in here, so don't just get taken back by the titles that I have. Our, Our titles that we have on YouTube are subject to change. Especially when we uh, we get interest and focus on one thing, I do take down videos at times, maybe the ones that are not as popular, but they're experimental like the rest. Hey, hey, welcome to the AI experiment. Yes, we are. <clears throat> everything we have are testing AI, AI systems, AI uh, attitudes. Uh, Soma or Sona, whatever that is by Google, is not new. There's already video, text to video out there. And that's what it's all about. It's a race with the AI who gets out there and gets their, their stuff seen. As you see on my YouTube, I will put up occasionally stuff I have sampled with AI systems. Here's what I think. <clears throat> Like I already told about the some low tech AI where it doesn't spell right, it can't speak out the numbers. You have to type out the numbers. That's low tech AI. I I think there's high end and there's low end, or you could say like beginner, intermediate, and expert, because there are programmers out there and, and people are in a hurry to get it out there on their websites and make money. I've seen things with stem extensions and stuff like that that I didn't think was very good doing the stems. And what that is, you you get your music up there and it breaks it down maybe to four stems or each piece of that instrumental or that vocal, like your bass, your uh, electric guitars and drums, and, and your singers. It breaks down each one of those. And it'll take out the vocals and it separate the vocals. I've seen some of that. It works pretty good. I've seen some pretty sloppy stuff out there, too. And uh, so I, I don't invest into stuff that is low tech or what, or maybe uh, beginner and maybe low intermediate. Because there is still a technology being worked on out there, cloning voices and all that things you talk about cloning voices uh if you see some of my pictures are uh the people are talking well that's ai generated but i uh, have an example on my youtube of how that can be incorporated into filming and into uh, well intermediate uh uh photographers filmmakers whatever uh, that's how you can o- incorporate those things. I do think that there is a big, big plus for the AI technology as it will help editors and, and people that do things on YouTube and the radio. It'll help you write your articles that you, like my books I'm writing, got three of them out or working on to get out this year. And it's just a lot to do with AI technology and things. So, um, you know, as we continue to experiment with the music, realize that there's some things that I do and there's some things AI does. I have uh, vocalizations where I sing. I'm the lead singer. And in the back, I'll have a female AI or a male AI singing behind me. Or I do it the other way, where I'm providing the backup vocals. That's all the experiment that we're doing with AI and everything that's going on. The plus part of it, too, is like I'm doing that. I did that series on drug abuse and the mind, psychology, and different things like that. You can find some very deep articles where I am learning myself. Now, here's some of the fallbacks. You need to double check on some of what AI is saying. Unfortunately, some of it can be uh, misinformation that it just skipped over because it's kind of like spidering the internet looking for the articles 
to put together in AI and uh, to make an AI wave or MP3. The, the good thing about this is it helps us increase our uh, database, our knowledge base. It helps us increase the knowledge base for ourselves and everybody else. It makes the program more interesting for those who are producing it and also the listeners. Uh, interesting thing that you two did to me, I had one uh, of my videos up. I just mentioned the other day uh, analytics and stuff and, and how you can uh, get people on the internet with unique follows or watching uh, and it, you could have like uh, 13 people uh, that you have that thumbs you up or whatever or watching but there's another five four to five hundred people there are unique visitors or just visitors on YouTube and other things so you can't go and look at your video and say oh there's 99 people that showed up and say that's the full thing a lot of times you have new people that have not liked your YouTube or whatever you do, and they're just listening without that. It's kind of anonymous. People don't want to get involved that much. They don't really want you to know who maybe your fan base is. Possibilities for the conspiracy people is, oh, the government's listening. AI tech, uh, people are listening. Uh, aliens are listening. Hey, we can get into a lot of the conspiracies about why that happens. Well, what happened with YouTube, I went back to one video. I had five views. The next day, all the views are gone. Zero. So whether that's somebody showing me a YouTube they have control or what that is, an accidental function, I don't know. It could be five people that are listening in. To monitor. We have analytics on the internet. I don't think they're always accurate because you have anonymous uh, surfing on the internet and listening. You have hacking, all kind of stuff going on in our world. And a few years ago on Potomatic.com, I did talk about cyber wars and had, well, back in 2008, I was talking about cyber wars and it's happening now. And a lot of it's investigations. Sometimes you get a vision. I've had several visions in my life. I've had out-of-body experiences. I have seen things that I did not understand flying in the sky. So I have been in experiences supernaturally, and I have seen people healed, delivered. I have seen people go the other way into darkness, and I pray for them that they would return to the light. I thank you for listening to this, our program today as we get into some more music, both with me, AI, and a lot of the distinguished things that I'm doing for the program you are listening to now. We continue on, and I thank you for listening to us today as uh, my staff, my family, friends, we all enjoy recording. I enjoy singing. I enjoy the process of producing this show. Thank you for being with it. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's pan out of here and see what the rest of the program has got to be real. Thank you very much. God bless. In this moment, you're listening to Breakaway Power Hour, the word for this program today. Listen to this thought-provoking message. Hello, from the staff of Breakaway Thunders Media. Here are some new songs coming from Dale Calhoun with his worship albums coming in 2024 soon written here before they are put to music.
Lord is great in Zion, is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion, is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the 99. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. Have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called upon his name. He called to the Lord, and he answered them. In the pillar of the cloud, he spoke to them. They kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them.